Chinese guy came back, went back to China, worked for Bell Lab Shanghai, came up to a top level position, and then moved to Huawei. And, uh, and got a top position in Huawei. And so in 2014, uh, I get a call, same thing from this guy, and tells me, look, we're looking somebody to head what we call the 5G program of Huawei. And we think you're the good guy to do it. Uh, and I said, no, I don't want to go to China. It's not possible to, <laughs> for me to go to China, at least at this moment. He said, no, 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 no worries. What we'll do is open a research center for you in Paris. And you will lead that research center. So it ended up that I moved to industry, which was a good fulfilling time. And during seven years, I took over the 5G program of Huawei. And this is, of course, how I got to be more known in industry. And for some reason, which I think is overestimated, people think that uh, I'm the one who built the 5G of Huawei. Uh, I think there's a lot of things behind that are not related to me. But it's true that Huawei was a bit like a follower in 2000, 